Hey guys, God Pokemon FMAB here. Welcome back to Dong and Rompa. In the last episode, we had uh, switched rooms with my zone because she was kind of scared to stay in her room because people were trying to break in. But we don't know who's trying to break in. But in today's episode, we're going to continue on. And uh, we're in my zone room right now, I guess. Um, so let's, uh, let's sleep. It seems like it's nighttime, so I might as well sleep. But that is it itself is largely the same one as my room. But things thinking about my zone of sleep here, sleep, sleeping here, I imagine it'd be quite comfortable. Ka-ching! Okay, so we're not going to bed yet? Okay. Cinder garbage. Be an asshole. Despite thinking to myself that it's not right to look at other people's trash, I took a quick peek. What the? No doubt about it, this is the DVD she got in the AV room. Now that, it, now that I think about it, I never asked my Zona what she saw. But uh, all I can do for uh, do is wait for her to tell me herself. Alright. Yep, girl showers do indeed come with a lock. I'm a little hesitant to go inside. Okay. In my room, there's a tool set, but in my zonos, there's a sewing kit. Hmm. And next to it is a human pressure point diagram. Oh, God. It's not fair to my zono for me to snoop around her room so much. I should probably get to bed. <coughs> I slowly relinquished myself to the bed and found myself embraced in a pleasant scent. My zono's scent. You're a fucking... You're a pervert, sack of shit. Somehow, I feel like I'm going to have pleasant dreams tonight. Alright then. Holding on to that little bit of happiness, I drifted towards dreamland. This is the inside of a spaceship. You are all currently on a journey through space. Are you familiar with Noah's Ark? That's right, we have abandoned the Earth. There's no danger of po police brutality, drunk drivers, pyromaniacs, or your mental neighbors. Breathing problems result from exhaust fumes or atmospheric pollution are no longer a concern. And of course, there is no need to worry yourself with exams or competitive rivalries. However, there are still rules in this free and beautiful world. Freedom can only exist supported by the bonds of rules. If you desire at all costs to return to that helpless shithole of a the planet, then follow the rules. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, you loud. Can I open my, my pad while I'm talking? Oh, he's about to yell. Nah, you're loud. <laughs> Rubbing the sleep. Oh, I can't open it. Thank the Lord. Okay. You fucking fucker, is it? Oh, no. Right. I think that's the best. Rubbing the sleep out of my eyes, I slowly rose from the bed, in my Zona's room. That's right, we had all promised to have breakfast together. I'd better get going. I left my Zona's room and headed for the cafeteria. When I arrived at the cafeteria, several people were already there. <laughs> Good morning to you, Nike. Listen to this, I was the first to arrive this morning. <laughs> they are still pretty fucking loud. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Early to rise, I see. Yeah, no. The people gathered in the first wave were those with the good students with good habits category. And the ones who showed up a little bit late. Oh. So. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm late. Took a little bit to do my makeup than usual. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dear. Please excuse my tardiness. I was so engaged in my morning work. I'm scared to know what your morning work was, sir. Students with a highly loose adherence to time, most high schoolers probably fall into this group. And then, there are ones who made everyone wait driving in unfashionably late. Driving unfashionably late. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> my bad, my bad, I slept in. <laughs> well, what? Is there something wrong with me being late? Ooh. I didn't oversleep, I just couldn't find my way, dude. I got lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Choose, choose. Those to whom I've hold no meal whose time holds no meaning, living at their own pace, unconcerned about others. And thus, everyone finally gathered. I know normal circumstances, that would have been true. Hmm. Hmm? We're not all here yet? Uh. Still missing my Zono and Togami. I expect no less of Togami. But my Zono should have been with the students with good habits crowd. And yet, she wasn't there? Nanda. What? Did something happen? Oh. Yo, Togami, you see my Zono around? <laughs> 
<laughs> like I know where she is. I was my room and came straight here. <laughs> Had she forgotten oh. our breakfast to her? Oh. Okay, she lives by she lives her life by her schedule. Listening to them talk, the small seed of apprehension planted in my planted in my boob slowly began to sprout. Oh shit! Now I understand what Nike's trying to talk about. <laughs> no! I'm I'm gonna go check on her. No sooner than the words that had fell out of my mouth, I darted into the hall. Yeah, I think fuck. No. <laughs> I got my destination, the room I had exchanged with my zono for one night, my room they were supposed to have slept in. However, that room in the span of a single night has transformed into something completely different. What happened here? Okay, I'm just fucking scared. Th that's my fucking room key! A keychain had fallen to the floor with my name. When we exchanged rooms, I gave this to my zono. That's the that's the sword. This is a glided practice sword I brought back with me for self-defense. The blade had been drawn from the scabbard. More importantly, what about my Zono? This is the glided practice sword I brought back with me for self-defense. This is just a scabbard. The blade has been drawn. More importantly, what about my Zono? I don't see her. We have to look at everything. There are marks on the wall and floor like they were slashed with a blade or something. More importantly, what about my Zono? Okay, you're... Calm your shit. Calm your dick. A large quantity of the lint roller's tape is missing. Since when? Well, Charlie, what happened to my Zono? You know what? I think this guy's all he cares about is my Zono right now. What is this? It's a stand where the hell the practice sword. More probably where my Zono. Okay, you know what? I don't see her. I don't know. More probably where my I don't know. Oh, the washroom's open. I peeked into the shower. Oh no. I peeked into the shower. What? What? It took me a while for me to realize I was screaming. The sight before me burned into my retinas. And then... And then... The stage went dark. My Zono's dead? What the fuck?! What the fuck? Who the fuck did this? I opened my eyes to a wide open ceiling. A somewhat familiar wide open ceiling. I sat up, and this time I saw a face. A somewhat familiar face. <gasps> huh? You're finally awake, you okay? <laughs> Daddy, this ain't the time. And for a nice relaxing wake up, hurry your ass up! What happened? What? Uh. <laughs> Dude, you lost consciousness, Nikes, so we carried you here. Dog. It is not unthinkable in such a situation. Such a situation. Fuck. Peggy, <laughs> are you sure you're okay? It wasn't a dream? That that wasn't a dream? I'm surprised I'm not throwing it. <laughs> no, that was reality. Sayaka Maizano is dead. A thick, slimy despair spread through my body, then burst out like an explosion. I jumped up, then ran. <laughs> Where do you intend to go? Where do you think? I have to see it! I have to see my Zono! I have to see my Zono! Akiramero. Everyone's already confirmed it! There's no doubt, Sayaka Maizano is dead. No! I'm going! Huh? You said it still. You said it still. What's gonna change if you go? What's the point of staying here? And anyway, what's everyone doing in the gymnasium at a time like this? Our friend, my Zono, she's dead. Dead. It finally hit me when that word left my mouth. My Zono is dead. What's the dead? We're not here of our own free will either. Then why? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma, he, he told us to gather here. Oh, of course, we objected. What are you saying? Something terrible happened to my Zono. <laughs> However, it was my suggestion. I recommended we all follow his orders for the time being. We're prisoners, are we not? There's a little merit in us fighting back every step of the way. So. To avoid any more needless sacrifice. Why should we have to listen to what that thing tells us to do? It's obvious that he he is the one who killed my Zono. 
Gaudio. I wouldn't do something like that if you believe if you believe anything. Believe that. <laughs> you dare show you fair show your face. I know Unless the rule's been violated, I will not personally get involved. And I certainly wouldn't do anything that goes against the spirit of an academy life. <laughs> I'm famous as a party person being twice as stringent about the rules as other bears. <laughs> but then <laughs> who killed? Maga Maga! You already know the answer. It was one of you guys who killed Sayaka Mai Zono. At those words, we fell into complete silence. One of us killed my Zono? That's not possible. Are you, are you? Huh? Is something wrong? Your face looks like a dove has gone mouth uh, has gone mowed down by a Gatling gun. <laughs> Come on, didn't we already go over this? All that happened was one of you guys killed my Zono so you could graduate. Those are the rules. There's nothing wrong with it. Hello. You're lying, yes? When, of course he's lying. He's the one who killed her. Chikaoyo. Nope. The killer is one of you guys. The person who did the deed should know that perfectly well. Huh? I'm un unconsciously, I look around at everyone's faces. Everyone else is doing the same. We created glances based with fear, confusion, and suspicion. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Is that uh, the truth? Whoa, whoa! Who killed her? My goodness, some of you still can't accept it? Uh, Shut it! I ain't buying that shit! Damare. Silence. While still here, I have something I'd like to verify with the teddy bear over there. <laughs> Assuming us, one of us is really a murderer, that person is able to graduate, correct? Huh? Huh? Oi. Don't play stupid, you said so yourself. One can graduate by committing murder. Okay, I don't get why he's laughing. Why the goof Because... <laughs> You're naive, way too naive. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I'm trying to make it sound like as emotional as I can when I read the substance of the words, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Monica, you think it's just that easy? Just gotta kill someone? Gora, gora. That's hugely naive. Heavishly naive. Devishly naive. Quite the contrary, the real fun starts here. The real fun? <laughs> then, how about this? Let me tell you the supplemental... Oh rules concerning graduation as i explained to you already you can't graduate unless you kill someone but in doing so there was another promise you had to keep too was there not the sixth rule the villain who kills one of his companions will be allowed to graduate provided his crime is not yet betrayed to the other students you must not betray the other students you must not betray to the other students you are you are a murdering villain i believe that's what you're referring to yes Bingo! Just killing isn't good enough! You gotta do the deed and get away with it! So, in a short while after you, uh, you off some poor sucker, to see if you satisfy, the, satisfy those conditions. Yeah! We'll hold a class trial! A class trial? I've been told about these, I've been told about these. Okay. The class trial will begin in a few hours after a course has been discovered. During which, the murderous villain will have his fierce showdown on the class courtroom. Versus the remaining students, the heroes. Akusaibandewa, I did state this in a previous video, but uh, while the characters are talking, I'm going to try my best not to talk. Uh, if I know they're only going to say one or two words, I will start talking, but if they're going to say the whole thing, and you can tell when they're saying the whole thing, I will not be reading it out loud just so I don't waste time. Okay. What? Okay, that's not fair. 
共同生活は強制終了となります。So he's saying if we fuck up trying to pick the actual murder villain, then everyone else except for the murder villain is murdered. いいじゃん。これ。I think. あのー、<笑> bye bye bye. This word you keep repeating. Uh, punished. How do you mean? In other words, if we are correct in choosing the killer, only the killer will be killed, but if we are wrong, all of us will be executed? Such a smart chimpanzee, the deadpan appeal of innocence is a nice little trick too. Basically, this is like the lay ju judge system in the outside world. Oh, excuse me. You guys are the ones who decide who the criminal is. However, you can't make that decision lightly. All of you guys' live lives are at stake after all. So, so. I'll add all that to the school rules so you can go back to look at it whenever. The school rules have been modified. You can verify the changes from within your er, Electro ID. Well, wait just a second. This is all, like, totally crazy. Huh? Huh? What's with all this crap about class trials? There's no way I'm participating. And why is that? Like you'd even need to ask. Why would I have to? Why should I have to play this find the culprit game with you? What's this? Someone won't participate in the class trial, then they must be penalized. Uh, penalized? I'll probably lock you up in a dark and scary prison or something. Quit your blabbing. Even if you threaten me, I'm still not participating. How selfish. You're the one being selfish, making us kill each other, leaving me out of it. Or leave me out of it. Why would she not want to be out of it? Whoa, with such an overwhelming evil power staring me in the eyes, I'm shaking in my boots. But I will not yield to the darkness. Monokubo will always fight to the bitter end. If you truly wish to pass, you must take me down first. As he finished, Monokuma charged, his feet pitter pattering against the hard floor. But. Oh shit. Oh dude, he can totally see up her skirt. But from what I remember, she's probably gonna be in a lot of deep shit because I remember Monokuma saying that there was no headmaster fucking with, right? They're, oh, they're talking. Okay, cool. Lol. Huh? What the fuck? Her hands are all covered in blood. Is that blood even? It's all pink. Why am I even questioning this? She's fucking dead! Or else she's dying. Why is she smiling? In her final moments, Enoshima's eyes went wide. And just like that, she never moved again. What the? No! You're shitting me! Inconceivable! I'm really feeling it right now. The importance of tropes. I was wanted to avoid. I wanted to. Uh, I was wanted to avoid causing any unnecessary deaths, if all at possible, if at all possible. I'm so dumb. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess a sacrificial lamb really is necessary. Man, I love that trope. But hey, you guys get it now, don't you? <laughs> Oh, 
不可杀人，打你！一头射到了，一头射到了。I still imagine that girl's already dead. She feels like sad at five hundred times. お前らは学園の校則にしっかりと従うこと。Well, I'm scared shitless. I really don't want to fucking die now. And Ishima's body is skewered by spears. Pool of blood was forming beneath it. She seems like she was fucked up. That was the first time I had seen the moment of a person's death. Anyone could tell just by looking at Ishima, our friend, until just a moment ago, was killed, dead, terminated, and it all happened just like that. This is death. It's nothing to be surprised about. She's just dead. All she is is dead. It's all ridiculous. It's as ridiculously apparent as the inevitable destruction of mankind. Why are you talking so much? It's as suddenly natural as the inevitable inevitable end of the world. What are you talking? Is this a video game? This isn't some RPG. Cram as many bird feathers down her throat as you want. She ain't coming back. Hey, that's a that's a fun fantasy thing. Phoenix Downs, right? Why did you kill her? Weren't you going to imprison her? I changed my mind. You didn't hurt. You didn't premediate her murder. Premediate? Mediate? How do you spell that? Pre me it me med it hate. I pre med it med it tattered her murder. Is that what you said? Hey hey, I'm Manakuma. Ah, that's not terribly important. I'm something I I need to give you guys before you start the search for the villain. This is a file with some data I gathered on the corpse. I call it. I mean, you guys are amateurs. There's only so much you can find out from a corpse. And I went ahead and gathered info on the body and anything cause of death for you. Huh? You're wondering how I know what the cause of death is? I watched the whole thing. Start to finish and stunning high definition clarity thanks to my security cameras. Yeah. Then you know who the culprit is? The one who killed my Zono? <laughs> you betcha! If I didn't, I couldn't make an impartial judgment at the class trial now, would I? So. Yes, your judgment will, should be impartial. I'm slightly relieved to hear that. Yeah! Alrighty then, best of luck with your investigation! You're gonna need all the luck you can get. Do what you gotta do! I'll see you again soon! At the class trial. And with that, Monokuma left, leaving us confused, bewildered, alone with Enoshima's horribly mangled body. For some time, not one of us could even open our mouths to speak. Naturally, we were shocked by Maizono and Enoshima's irrational death. But that wasn't all. Someone in this room killed another human being. Well, Enoshima's dead. Well, that was because my uh, Makuma. On top of that, if we don't find out who did it, everyone else will be executed. We looked at each other with mistrust, mistrusting eyes. Could things get any worse? However, despite the disturbing abnormality of our situation, she was not she was not perturbed in the slightest. No. Is it really the time to be depressed? Besides, with everyone so blindly mistrusting of one another, much like blind faith, the outcome can only be disaster. Huh? Huh? We need to work together. It's up to you who want who you want to believe in and who you want to doubt. <laughs> Indeed, fretting over the disease won't benefit anyone. No, no, no. That, that's awful. <sighs> I've warned you numerous times already. Those who cannot simply adapt will simply die. In adapt, inability to adapt, disobedience, these things will lead to death. <laughs> you reap what you sow. <laughs> You're terrible! Even in this situation, that's way out of line. <laughs> We need to focus on figuring out who the killer is, first of all. If we don't, then all of us will be executed. <laughs> Precisely, it's time to begin the hunt. <laughs> Either way, we cannot escape it. We have no other choice. <laughs> We've got no choice. This really is our only choice. <laughs> Execution, my ass. You ain't fucking killing me. Shit, let's get going. We have no other choice. Every one of us was whispering that to ourselves. As of trying to instill in some confidence and drive, Yes, we have no other choice. Even if we don't want to, we have no other choice. Our one chance at holding on to our lives, we have no other choice. Beyond that, I need to know, why was my Zono killed? Why did my Zono have to die? I'm afraid of the answer, but I have to know. I also want to know, that's a big thing. If I don't, 
I'll never be able to accept my Zono's death. And that's why. I have no choice. Alright. No. The kitty kitty. Before we begin investigating my Zono's death, what should we do about preserving the crime scene? Preserving the crime scene? <laughs> you mean Watchmen to ensure no one tampers with it? If the culprit tampers with the evidence, we're at a stalemate. Alright, then I'll be on watch. I'm not good at figuring out stuff anyways. I'll leave it up to you all to figure out who killed the chick. Mm. Then, Owada's on lookout at the crime scene. <laughs> no, we just can't let him watch by himself. Uh, why not? Isn't it obvious? What if you're the culprit? By volunteering for guard duty, you can destroy all the evidence you want. No. What? Screw you! No, no. Then I shall be a guard as well. That eliminates the issue. A <laughs> two-player co-op with Masters Mondono Owada and Sakura Ogami. Fierce watchmen indeed. <laughs> For those of us who cannot join in the investigation, we rest our lives in your hands. Demo. I I'm kind of scared, but I'll give it a shot. Alright, we'll talk to her again, maybe. Onikaku. We need to find out who the culprit is. If we don't, then all of us will be executed. Um, who do I want to talk to next? Um, that one girl, where's that one chick? She was really... Where is she? Oh, there she is, Celeste. Just right there, right? There, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I just noticed something. Wait. Come on, did you find out who, who it was? I was looking over the Monokuma file, and I noticed something very simple, yet very pe peculiar. Fuck. I think they figured it out. That I, fi I figured this out in the middle of the whole commotion, but uh, you'll see. Please have a look for yourselves. The place where Sayaka Maizono died is Makoto Naegi's bedroom. Yup, they're all gonna fucking kill me. Ah, she's right! <laughs> then, could it be? Everyone's eyes pointed at me, all at once. Oh, hold on, I didn't do it! My Zona and I traded rooms for the night, we did it because she was terrified. <laughs> that has a li that has lie written all over it. Tell the truth! The look in their eyes changed dramatically. Their gazes were filled with doubt and fear. In other words, they suspect me? Well, Nagi, I can- I can't lie. I also suspect myself. But you know, well, we know we didn't do it, at least I think, but, uh, it's understandable that they think we are the murderer because, uh, we've been getting really close to her, not to mention that she was in my room and she died. Either that it was my fault, maybe someone's coming to kill me, or maybe she just ended up getting killed or something, I don't know. But, uh, the blame's on us, man. I, it's, uh, it's kind of your fault. Our fault. My my fault. No, the game forced it, so it's the game's fault. Fuck! Alright then, so I guess... I guess, uh... Everyone doesn't seem so happy no more. What? Before we begin our investigation, is there a little more to talk about? Uh, yeah. Do you have anything interesting to talk about other than that? No? Okay, let's talk about water. Is this real? That's goddamn bear! Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What? What is this, dude? We cannot run, we can only press forward. Yamada? Current status, rebooting consciousness, please wait. Okay, I guess he's not the happiest camper right now. No, I don't want to There you go, Chiyo Fuji-san. She, she's right here, she... Oh. I don't want to talk to Yamada. Yamada's a loser, I wanna to talk to Fukawa. I think that was her name, right? Fukawa? Fuck Yamada! No... I don't wanna to talk to Yamada. Can I just... Is that how far it goes? Toko Fukawa! She's not saying anything, she must still be pretty shocked. I would be shocked too, man! Someone just got fucking killed! I don't like it, but we got no choice. We gotta find the killer. If we don't, we'll all be killed too! There's three more lots, I think. These are the last ones, right? <laughs> Hurry up and begin your investigation. <clears throat> if we choose the correct culprit, only the culprit will be executed. But if we are wrong, all of us will be killed. <laughs> are there the school rules? What is this madness? <laughs> you serious? <laughs> You're de really determined to find the culprit, huh? Yeah, I am. Anyone else? I oh, I haven't talked to Sakura. No, I talked to Sakura. <laughs> 
Okay, so I guess I've talked to everyone, so maybe I should just look at the body. I gently brought my hand in and she was dead body. Like they do on TV and the movies, I checked her pulse and her neck and wrist. She's really dead. There's no other way to say it. She was completely and utterly dead. <laughs> Confirming it was unnecessary. Sustaining injuries like that and losing that much blood? It'd be more surprising if someone could survive that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a second. Ah! Wait! Oh, 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 hold on! She, she's dead? Then no, 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 no. it's a real thing? It's not some kind of event, but really real, dude? <laughs> no, they hated friend. me. Get me out of here. Someone! Not Took you long enough. Duh. Are you all done talking? Then let's begin our investigation. From here, we split up. Who killed Sayaka Maizono? She reached the answer to that question. You must gather gather evidence and follow to the local, uh, logical conclusion. You make the wrong deduction. Sorewa. Well, I don't suppose I need to tell you what happens. Mushiro. I I'm a thing said rather you didn't. Jane. Good luck. Kuge hastily departed the gymnasium, leaving only those words behind. Jana. I'll be off as well. Continuing after Kirigiri, Togami also disappeared from our sight. Oh. Darn. That's right, we're on guard duty. Gotta hurry up to the crime scene. Oh. Yes, indeed. All right. I'll warn you assholes right now. If we one of you is the killer and try you try to tamper with any of the evidence, Goodness. I'll find you first and beat you in a fucking ball before your execution. I'll pulverize you, liquidize you, grind you to a fucking dust. But his words still hanging in the air, Owada and Ogami swiftly exited the room. Uh but investigating a murder, murder. We're not detectives or policemen. What are we supposed to do? You don't need to do anything. It's probably obvious you killed my Sayaka Maizono. You don't mean. I'm talking uh, about yes. you. Yeah. Like I said, it, I didn't do it. <laughs> back. You intend to kill me too? Uh, I know no that. We should uh, do whatever we can. It's not like we're totally certain it was Nike. <laughs> Touche. Oh. Let us begin our hearts uh, investigation to our hearts content. <laughs> Even I wanted to, I couldn't investigate anything. Uh. Uh, why is that? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. I see blood. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Ah, uh, whatever. No one's expecting nothing from you, anyways. All right then, I'm off. Well, hold on a second before you go. Hear me out. My voice fell on deaf ears as everyone left the gymnasium by one by one. Their suspicious gazes still pointed in my direction. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? Why did things turn out like this? There's no way I could kill her. Why the hell would I kill my Zono? I've got to do something. At this rate, everyone. It's going to end up like that. I won't let things go my Monokuma's way. I'll do everything in my power to find the culprit. The culprit who killed my Zono. Investigation. All right. So we're going to end the episode here really quick before Makoto Nagi over here starts talking a bit. So thank you guys for watching today's episode. In the next episode, we are going to start the investigation and hopefully start the class trials. I'll see you guys next time. Scott Pilgrim, maybe. 